Oh, now then. Um, a short while ago, somebody said, how do you do your parsnips? Rather than explain ourselves, tell you what I do. I'll make a video. Now we all like our parsnips to be nice and straight and one step. And this is what I do. As you can see, this if you look back on my YouTube, you'll see how I have made this leaf mould. That is sieve leaf mould with some potting compost and sand. And it's made it really loamy. And I've got a margarine tub and five toilet tubes. The reason why I only do five at a time, I like to do them in three or four week intervals. So you've got a succession. Then, a bit of the kitchen, um, what's his name, whatever you call this stuff. <laughs> Break it up into smally bits. Give it a little screw up, not too much. And what we're aiming to do is to fill the, the bottom of these toilet tubes, to fill the bottom up. And the way I do it is like that. And then only because this fits a treat, you need a bit of wood or something. Just, just tamp it down, just to make sure that you filled, you filled the bottom up. So that, it's only so that soil don't fall on through. Okay, then what I'm going to do then is I'll do all five like that. And then I won't show you me doing them all. Because that's boring, isn't it? There we go, do one more. There we go, and now I'm going to fit them neatly, neatly into there. But what we've got to do is fill the, put, fill them up with soil to an inch from the top, okay, or or 20 cent, 20 millimeters, or two centimeters, whatever, whichever system you like to use. Um, fill it right to the top. Oh, Daisy, tamp it down, and now that is just an inch an inch from the top look. Now I'm going to pack them into there. Da dum diddy de diddle dum diddle diddle we go. I'm making this song up, I expect you realise that didn't you? <laughs> last video I think I sung on the last video and somebody said leave out the singing bro would you please? Oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, there we go. And we've got five and they all fitting in there neatly. Now, the next thing to do is a little bit of water. Well, I want to make that, I want to soak that. So, it's more than just a little bit of water because it's going to go all the way down there. And if it's not, if when you've put your water in, goes down a bit then just just top it up it don't matter if a bit goes around the edge does it in the bottom whatever happens the bottom of this tube is going to get really soggy and unhandable but because it's sticking above above the thing above the tray you'll be able to take hold of that and lift it when the seeds have, have, have hatched right now I've got my seeds new packet seed and um, parsnip seed are very sensitive this seed I'll put in the fridge um, for a few nights. Okay, so we open it up. Afternoon seeds. Right now, what I'm looking for is three seeds in each of these of these, and but but put them so that they are not touching or you know they're far enough apart that when they sprout, I can easily find. Um, the two I don't want and very carefully pull them out. Now, some people like to sprout their seeds first. I'm nervous of that because you, you put a lot of effort into growing stuff. If the, um, if the seeds, the root gets damaged, they will fork and you'll end up with a, a parsnip that's uh, got more legs than it's worth. There we go. That's it. There's three seeds in each. Eight of them three seeds in each. I hope one comes up. If not, you could end up with some 
some they don't come up but that's what we're going to be doing them at uh, it in um three weeks apart and the the last few go straight in the ground in any case you you're going to get your your continuous crop there we go and now i'm not going to water this last bit in because there's enough water already in there um that's it it's, it's as simple as that and hopefully when they grow they'll have two leaves when they get their two leaves i will sort of make sure there's just one plant left and then, then uh, they'll be sewing out. There we go. Job done. Now, I've got some um, parsnips in tubes. Um, and I did promise to show you the progression from when they come up to putting them in. But now we've got one that's come up here, look. And you can just see it's got two leaves and if we turn it over carefully there's the root already coming out hopefully you can see that so that's got to go in and when it goes in that little root hair that you can see there I've got to be so careful not to damage it I'm going to put that back in there tilted so it's now time to get that in when I say in in the ground Without, without damaging that very fine root hair. Okay, so you can just see I've got a couple there that I've already done, look, um, and there's some underneath that clutch. So I'm going to dig a nice deep hole, and that hole, let's see if I can show you. It's as deep as the it's as deep as the box is that little fine root it's going to want to go straight there so i'm going to suspend that in the hole a bit more i suppose what i could have done was use the dibber or something but i want to see the bottom of the hole All right then i'm going to prop that and hopefully i haven't just i haven't broken that root very carefully I would say I'll put that in probably a couple of days too late. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. And we've got some good weather coming. <laughs> don't want them pebbles in there. We've got some good weather coming. Hopefully that'll come on. And as you can see, they're coming on nicely. 